Wolves got a good win yesterday, bro. I think we got a chance. I'd say they have a chance, all right. What's up, guys? What's up, fool? Well, how do you do there, boss man? How you feeling today? Hey, man, I'm good. How about you, homie? Pretty darn good, I'd say. Thank you for asking. Hey, y'all ready for another review? Darn tune, brother. Let's hear what you listen to today. Yeah, we're waiting for you to get a light, Jamako. <laughs> Here we go. Chanchito! Where are your manners? What the fuck you talking about manners, fool? I always make fun of this little bitch. Oh, come on now, Chanchito. Lighten up a little bit. Go on ahead, brother. Do your thing. I appreciate that, Connor. Thank you. I wish somebody had as much manners as you did. Whatever. What is up, my people? Welcome back for another album review. Today, I will be reviewing brand new R&B duo Silk Sonic. An Evening with Silk Sonic. This is the debut record of brand new R&B soul duo Silk Sonic consisting of Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. These two artists are really known to really dive into this certain type of genre and have come together to fuse in a new improved project and jump back into the 1970s. And together the two have come together to fuse their skills of R&B and make a nostalgic record. We're already kicking off with an itching exciting Silk Sonic intro that adds hype to what's to come. Then we reach the second track of the album, Leave the Door Open, which was originally one of the first singles to release off the LP, including Smoking Out the Window and Skate. There's a rich pre-chorus from Bruno, but an even sweeter performance on the chorus on Leave the Door Open. Not to mention Anderson's verse puts such swagger onto the track, the two are bossed up on here. The balance of the bass and those high treble triangles makes the instrumental feel so fresh and so clean. So fresh. God damn the bridge too though. Those harmonics are so gorgeous and so light. I feel like I'm gravitating towards heaven in a robe with a cigar in my teeth. The Funkadelics are surging through Bruno and Anderson's veins. Like on the song Fly As Me, those cymbals sprinkle a bright, shiny coat to the instrumental. Also love the way everything crashes through the window on that chorus. The track expresses more Bruno and Anderson getting down and groovy and expressing how fly and cool they are. Then the track After Last Night dims down the lights and switches up the mood into something sexy. Which also has guest features from Thundercat and Bootsy Collins. Jesus Christ, if this track had a physical touch to it, that shit would burn the fuck out of your hand. Bootsy Collins' performance chemistry with Anderson and Bruno blows the top off of this track. This is a hard throwback R&B funk track that I know would have dominated in the 70s. Then we return back to the glorious moment on the record with the song Smoking Out the Window, which is a song that I already viewed on my Singles of the Week video. Still find this track to be extremely infectious, still blown by how well these two work with each other. It's also hilarious how they put this gold digging, deceptive bitch on blast. I cannot stop laughing when Anderson says on the track, look, here baby i hope you find whatever it is you need but i also hope that your trifling ass is walking around barefoot in these streets darn to let that trifling bitch scurry on with her stupid self <laughs> then the pacing on the lp slows back down with the next track put a smile on the song deals resisting the pain with the heartbreak hence the name of the track up to this point i find no sense of error when it comes to production especially bruno singing still dominates up to this point as well though indeed my interest still holds steadily from this point I can't say I found this track to be as heavily inflicting as the others. For the song 777, there's a small shift in the instrumental switch up with more rock influences with these bouncy electric guitars and more focus with some of the horn sections. The track's about the two going on a little gambling spree in Vegas and just giving no fucks about the outcome, just going out and having a good time. On the song Skate, with the influences into more of disco direction with the two going into a serenade for a pretty little lady. Playing off this track, you definitely feel the vibe that you would really feel if you play this while you're walking inside a casino with that swagger and that tuxedo on ready just to bet your house and regret all of it. The R&B duo then closes off with the song Blast Off. Heavy 70s rock influences with the bridge off of the song. These winding guitar riffs, warm piano chords in the mix still keeping with the same jazz style drums with the two singing in their way to the very end into this magical place in outer space. To tie the whole thing in a bow, Bootsy Collins giving the last say on the end of the track. I I would say that this is certainly a record that reached my expectations to a minimum. The record as a whole is a great nostalgic take of 70s funk and R&B that I think the two play off very well from each other. It's fun, 
It's enjoyable. It's glamorous to listen to. This is a group I would like to see continue to make more projects and even maybe more collabs with other artists. Though certainly it seemed that off of those first three records that the whole record was about to be a smashing, smashing hit. It didn't reach that top off for me, but it's certainly still a great listen. I'm gonna give an even with Silk Sonic an 84%. As always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Down in the description, you'll also see my separate tracklist rating and also the links to my social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Deuces.